Welcome everyone back to Arm World Coins Collection and Investment and hopefully you're having a good start of the year 2024 and hopefully uh, you can pick up some good information from me. I'll be doing a lot of videos for 2024. Goal is to have at least a thousand videos in my channel and hopefully I can accomplish that. That is my goal. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, well, please subscribe. Help me grow my channel. Uh, like, uh, hit the bell to get noti notified of new uploads. And of course, comment if you have any. I appreciate all the good, kind words that uh, I have received. And hopefully I can answer all your questions if you have any, okay? So uh, continue to grow uh, your collection and hopefully my videos will help you out, okay? Uh, today we got three coins, all certified by NGC. Again, as I mentioned before, I have 40 years in the business. I know what I'm collecting. I learned my lesson, lost a lot of money when I started. I have studied, I have graded, learned how to grade, learned how to sell, learned how to pick up rare coins, uh, studied the history of the coins. Sometimes these coins have high mintage, but you have to realize that many of these coins, even with high mintage, were heavily circulated, only leaving a few either melted or a few in mint state condition and the demand is there for those coins, or the coin is issued already rare with a very small number, okay? And everybody's trying to get that same coin, okay? And driving the prices up. Uh, so what we have here are the three nice coins. One is from South Africa, the other is from South Rhodesia, and the other one is from Lechtenstein, okay? Let's go for the first one here. This is NGC certified. This is from South Africa. This is one of the Czar coins, 1897, mint state 63. Normally you'll see this coin heavily circulated, very ugly to see. Uh, it's rare to find one with full mint luster, nice sharp detail on the beard, hair, eyebrow. Uh, so this is something that you wanna look on this coin. You wanna be sure it is nice, okay? So. Uh, Again, this is hard to find in nice, you know, lustrous, uh, clean from bag marks, contacts, okay? This is what you want to see on these nice coins. So if you're ever to find, if you're able to find any of the grades from 1892 till 1897 in this condition, uh, definitely those are the coins that you want to put aside in your collection. This is a nice, lustrous coin sharply struck, okay? And uh, I've seen the similar coins in this grade selling between five and $1,500, okay? Depending on how nice it is, okay? Sometimes you'll see coins from NGC or PCGS that are overgraded, so be careful, okay? Uh, some are not true mint state, uh, some are weakly struck. Uh, avoid those coins, don't be paying a premium on coins that even though they're certified and high grade certified, but the strike is extremely weak, soft, looks like it's circulated, be careful. Do not overspend your money, okay? Find one that's got sharp beard uh, detail, hair detail, ears, eyebrows, okay? And of course the cheek is also a high point. So be careful when you are buying this coin, okay? I do have a 1892 uh, in my store, and a hard coin to find, and uh, it gets very expensive on these earlier dates in mint state condition. Uh, on the reverse, again, this is what you wanna see on these coins. Just gorgeous, outstanding. Uh, good detail on the center, uh, the anchor, uh, the wagon, the lion, the soldier, a complete circle, some breast feathers on the eagle, nice luster throughout. So a gorgeous 1897. You'll see a lot of the 1897, uh, you know, in circulation. Uh, be careful of a draw so you know how to grade. Uh, don't just, uh, you know, assume what somebody says about a coin because uh, some uh, sellers don't know how to grade. So be sure you are familiar uh, in grading the coins that you are buying, okay? Uh, because when you do buy these coins, you later on, you, you're gonna end up selling them. 
and hopefully you want to get uh, your money working for you. And uh, if you paid 100, you want to be sure you get 200 in return when you sell it, you know, 5, 10, 15 years down the road, okay? So be uh, watchful that you are familiar with grading, do your due diligence, research the coin, shop around, okay? If you don't agree with the grade, you know, hopefully you can get re your money back and refund on the coin, okay? Uh, so this is a nice coin to pick up. This is a czar coin uh, from uh, 1892 to 1898, okay? So a gorgeous, high-grade coin, very hard to find. Uh, the other coin I have uh, definitely is also a hard coin. Uh, this is the South Rhodesia 1954 two shilling one year type loan mintage. So key dates, the three coins that I like to collect is 1939, the 1946, and the 1954. All three are key date because when I say key date, they have the lowest mintages and heavily circulated. The 39 and the 46 are silver. This one is copper nickel, but uh, this one here is extremely rare in mint state condition. Uh, most of them were circulated, okay? And so finding one in mint state is very difficult. In mint state, this coin is running around 15 to $2,000, okay? In circulation, in circulated condition, uh, if it's an, at least an AU, it'll run between three or $400, okay? But a mint state one, is very hard to find with a very low population. Uh, still looking for an MS-65, so that is very hard. I have an MS-65 on the 1946. I'm looking for one in the 1939, and I'm looking for one in the 1954. Very hard coin to find in mid-state high grade 65, okay? So if you come across this coin, you'll enjoy adding it to your collection. It'll continue to Grow in value, the demand is there. Gorgeous, full luster, no problem. Exceptionally nice appeal, right? So this is what you wanna see on the coin. Definitely, uh, I enjoy this coin a lot. Between the 1939, the 46, and the 54, uh, these are the best dates to get because normally these coins are the one that were heavily circulated in the country, okay? So uh, these coins definitely are high in demand in mid-state condition, okay? Great coin to add. Uh, last coin I have is from Lechtenstein. Gorgeous coin. I've shown you some of my other coins from Lechtenstein. Uh, some are lesser grade. Yeah, when you get to uh, uh, mid-state 65, uh, certified by NGC 1904, early date. Mintage on this originally was about 10,000 coins, but the majority of them got melted down or were circulated. So only a very few few handful were certified in mint state 65. Okay, I see some of these coins in 65 that are selling for $2,500. Okay, so this one here is a nice certified earlier date uh, with, like I said, an original mintage of 10,000 coins, but with the circulation and the melting, uh, I'm just saying a whole a few handful maybe I would say a couple hundred coins in mint state condition, okay? As a, uh, so if you need to find out, go to NGC, look up the consensus on the coin, uh, and then find out the number of coins that were graded for the specific 65, 66, 64, 63, and so forth, okay? And that will give you an idea of the numbers of coins available in mint state condition for collectors, okay? So a rare coin in MS-65, just a harder coin to find. Uh, I haven't seen a 66 or 67. So this is a gorgeous coin. This is what you wanna see. Nice strike, nice uh, beard, nice sideburn, uh, mustache, ears, eyebrow, exceptionally clean from the field and face of any major contact. So just a gorgeous coin. Uh, on the reverse, the shield, again, Highly desirable, full luster, nice deep, uh, sharp struck, nice detail on the crown, detail on the shield. So this is what you call a good, uh, in my opinion, a fully struck coin. Uh, this is what you want to acquire on these rare Lechtenstein coin. 
1904. Low mintage, highly desirable. Definitely uh, something you wanna add to your collection. Uh, well, this is a short video of three coins, uh, but you know, you'll enjoy uh, hunting for these coins on eBay or Heritage Auction or any other uh, website that has it. Check it out. If you do come across a nice one, do your due diligence, do comparison. Be sure you got the right price, the right condition. If it's certified, great. But even though it's certified by the coin, not the holder, sometimes the holder is incorrect, okay? Some could be overgraded. Don't buy overgraded. Undergraded is the best, uh, but don't pay too much, okay? Uh, so know your coin, know how to grade. Uh, work on that, and then uh, you'll have a, a good, nice collection that when it's time for you to sell, the next owner will not downgrade your coins, okay? Well, hopefully, this is uh, good information for the New Year's for you. If you do like it, uh, help my channel grow, subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I will have lots and lots more videos that I want to present that I will give you some good background information on the coins that I'm buying and why I'm buying and why I think it's a good investment. But always do your due diligence, okay? Be sure that information I'm providing is true. And if it is, by all means, you can act on it. It's up to you. But always, you know, know that you have at least a reference in my channel to check it out. And of course, other reference, Google, things up you can find. You got NGC, PCGS, you got a lot of resource out there that you can also rely on, not just myself, okay? So you guys uh, enjoy collecting, you know, enjoy watching my videos, I appreciate it. Subscribe, like, share, hit the bell so you'll get notified of my new uh, uploaded uh, videos. And then of course, if you have any comments, by all means send that to me and I'll hopefully I'll respond uh, once I have a chance, okay? So enjoy collecting and have, have a good 2024. Till next time, bye-bye.